Howdy, AP Precal. It's Ms. Kush. We are looking at the topic 3.10, uh, or the 310 topic, trig equations and inequalities. So I love doing trig equations, but to be honest with you, trig inequalities are new to me. So I made the worksheet, haven't practiced it at all, and we're going to jump right in and see what happens. Um, I mean, I understand inequalities, but it's just I've never actually taught that. Okay, so um, first of all, they'll give us an equation, and they may ask us, um, the only difference between these A and B is how they ask us to write our answers. Um, so if we have 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0, um, you know what, there's not enough space, and life is too short to write too small. Um, I have 2, x, 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0, so when I solve, I have sine of x is equal to, I'm adding 1 dividing by 2, sine of x is equal to 1 half. Okay, so I know my unit circle, and I know my unit circle really well, and so I know that this is going to be here and here, sine is the um, y value, and so that's at pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So then when they say, they'll ask the question two different ways. They'll say, solve it on the interval. Um, it might be the interval 0 to 2 pi. It might be a different interval. Um, it could be 0 to 4 pi if you wanted to. I don't know why, but you could. Um, they could change this to kind of whatever they want. But in our world, basically they're saying, you've got one pass around the unit circle. Give us our answers and move on with your life. Okay, so not. I was going to write theta. This one actually says x. Okay, so x would equal pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6, and there we go. Then it could also say find all values. Well, if you keep in mind, we can we can go around. We have all these coterminal angles. So I could start here and go around and around and around and around and then stop. Okay, or whatever. Um, so what we'll say is that x equals pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. That represents each rotation, where k is an element of the integers. And there's our fancy math way of saying that. Um, we like to be quick and efficient. Um, and then the other one is 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, where k is an element of the integers. Super. There we go. Okay, the next one. They're telling us tangent of, um, of x excuse me, tangent of x plus 1 is equal to 0, so tangent of x would equal negative 1. Tangent is the slope. Where is slope negative 1? Well, it's through here. This is my unit circle. And so this is 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. Notice I could get, I can add pi and keep going. Okay, so the first one says on the interval 0 to pi. So I'm going to go from 0 to pi, and the only answer that I have is 3 pi over 4. So this first one, x equals 3 pi over 4. Then they say solve on the interval from negative pi. That means we're coming this way. So negative pi to 0. What that's telling us is we don't want 7 pi over 4. We need to say, well, how did I get here in the negative direction? That's negative pi over 4. So x equals negative pi over 4. Okay, then it says find all values. Well, I'm lazy, I mean efficient, and I'm going to say x is equal to the first positive one, 3 pi over 4, plus pi k, where k is an element of the integers. Because, notice, they are exactly pi units apart. Super. Okay. Um, given f of x equals tangent of x minus 5, for what exact value on that? Okay. Um, so this one I kind of tweaked from the other teacher who I found this. Um, what happens is in, in our graph of tangent, tangent does something like this. So here's 0 to, this is pi over 2 is this first asymptote, and then here's pi, and it does something like that. So they want to know when does it equal 5? Well, 1 is going to be here, 5 is going to be way up there. It's not something we know from the unit circle. So the exact value is that x is equal to, um, well, what we have here is we say, tangent of x equals 5, and so then we want the inverse, to take the inverse tangent or the arc tangent of both sides, and so we'll say arc tan of 5. That's the exact value. Um, cool, because that's where this line y equals 5 is intersecting with this first part of, um, of the tangent curve. Um, so if they ask me, I had to grab a calculator, let's see if it has batteries. Um, if they ask me to find the approximate value, um, my understanding is that, um, I don't know what we're looking at here, but whatever. Um, my understanding is that 
uh, well, <laughs> my IB kids were doing stuff in degrees. My understanding is that AP precal is going to keep us in radians all the time. So I'm going to come back here to setup, change my output, and then if you notice, the question says, use a calculator to find an approximate value in radians. I told you radians. Um, on the interval. Okay, so now I'm in radians. I exit back. I want inverse tangent of 5. And so in radians, it's um, 1.37. So like, what does that even mean? I don't know. I don't think. I think in terms of radians, if it all has pi in it, but when it doesn't, um, I don't know what to, to do. So pi over 2 is, um, well, obviously that, but it's about this. So it's a little bit smaller than um, <coughs> pi over 2. Or I could come back here, change my setup, change my, um, yeah, I could come back and type this in again. And so it's about 78 degrees. Well, I know what 78 degrees looks like, but they asked me for the answer in radians, and I forgot to write it down before I switched my mode. Exit. Okay. Is it back in radians? See how we can check right here. Um, I'm too lazy to type it in again. Okay. If I use a calculator to find it, uh, so X is approximately... We've got 1.3734. AP wants us to round to the third decimal place. If you put the fourth, um, then you'll always be right. So anyway, they want you to round or truncate. Find all exact values. Okay, so if they want all of them, notice they're going to occur, if you think back to the parent function, they're going to occur every time we, the, every new period. Well, they didn't change the period right here, so it's just going to be pi units apart. So find all exact values. The exact values are arc tan of 5 plus pi. Cool, because they're pi units apart. So maybe, maybe put this parentheses here so you know it's not 5 plus pi, but whatever. Okay, super. Um, the next one, find all solutions for 2 sine of 4x minus 1 equals 0. If this doesn't look familiar to you, then go back again. Look at this. It's very similar to this particular problem, um, but we instead, it's the exact same setup, but instead of x here, we now have a 4x. And so what this is saying is, well, um, well, what we can do so we get sine of 4x is equal to 1 half. We know that sine is equal to 1 half at um, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. We already did that problem a little bit ago. Um, so we can say 4x equals pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. They wanted us to find all solutions. And to be honest with you, this one's kind of annoying if you have to do it from 0 to um, 2 pi because we're going to have... Um, we've changed our period, so typically sine has a period of 2 pi, but now we've changed it 2 pi over 4. Our period is now pi over 2, which means within this first, if I had to graph from 0 to 2 pi, I'm going to have every, here's pi, here's pi over 2, here's 3 pi over 2, can you read what I'm writing? I hope so. Um, we're going to do a whole period, but by the time we get to 2 pi, I lied. We're going to do a whole period by the time we get to pi over 2. Then we're going to do a whole other period by the time we get to pi. We're going to have four complete cycles. And so it's going to have, and each one of those periods had two answers from before. Um, so between 0 and 2 pi, we actually have eight answers, which is kind of annoying. But I get ahead of myself. I'm so sorry. So solving this problem, we need to divide by 4, or I might think of multiplying everybody by 1 fourth. Um, and so this x would be equal to pi over 24 plus pi over 2k. And then, but we also had, and I didn't write this down yet, but 4x was also equal to 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. So same idea, multiply by 1 fourth, and that gives us 5 pi over 24 plus pi over 2k. So all the solutions to this, there's a whole bunch of them, um, and there they are. Well, there's always infinitely many when you find all of them, but you're going to have more between 0 and 2 pi, um, and they're, they're smaller and closer together and whatever. Okay, um, come back for the next video. That one was kind of long enough.